after. I, I think that, you know, the pressure is on. I'm yeah. sure yeah. that, you know, I'm sure that he's uh, going to make sure that he's got the right answer because he can only answer one more time incorrectly. Yeah. Oh, we see Aaron C there on the right using oh. delete face. Yeah. Using delete face to clean up that area. That yeah. is a very nice use of delete. Uh -oh. oh, replace face. Wow. He's doing a, he did a surface offset at zero, and now he's doing a replace face to extend that down. That was really, really clever. Yeah. Wow, very nicely done, Aaron C. The delete face, Aaron C coming closer. You got this, Ivan. Occam's razor. Woot, grow that tree, ITR. Let's go, Ivan. It's the Muffin Man. Go over it again, Ivan. Delete face, slick. And replace face, Imant's really like that one. Replace face was an excellent, excellent choice there from Aaron C. I think that's gonna be that might be the highlight of the of the match. So about a month ago on November 11th, we hosted the finals of the 2023 World Championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. This was an epic tournament that started with 32 people from all around the world and culminated on November 11th with the final four. And we got together live and in person with some CAD enthusiasts and fans of the Too Tall Toby channel to watch this event in Lansdale, PA. And today we're gonna to take a look at the first of those matchups between Ivan the Reasonable from Canada and Aaron C from the United States. And if you wanna have some fun with this video, you can play along with against these runners. When I show the 2D drawing, you can grab a screen capture, maybe move that over to your second monitor, and then you can begin creating this model in your 3D CAD system and see how fast you are compared to these finalists. And uh, if you think you got what it takes, registration for the next tournament is already open, tutaltobycom slash spring. So hopefully we'll see you in that next tournament. And I hope that you enjoy this epic matchup between Ivan the Reasonable and Aaron C. Is ready to go here. So let's wait. Let me just make sure. I always get worried that I'm going to do something. That I'm going to flash something inappropriate here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Hold on. Wow. Not like that. <laughs> not YouTube. Like that. I just mean the strike. Yeah, yeah, you're not worried about that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go, guys. We're going to go to full screen here. And this first challenge in our final four between SolidWorks and SolidWorks, Canada versus the United States, begins in three, two, wow. one, go. What is the mass of this part in xx.x x kilograms? Wow, a kilograms part. This is this is Dang. kind of an exotic mm. system here. xx.x x kilograms. Tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.2 kilograms. Our runners are grabbing a screen capture of this part. This part is called Super Mount. And you can see that it's a, it's a pretty tricky part. It's got these kind of lower cylindrical sections with the tabs sticking out. Mm. It's got this leg that's going up and then back down at a different angle. It's uh, it's symmetric in one direction, but not the other. A lot of times our runners will try to use that to figure out where they're going to start. It's interesting. This time around, it looks like both of our runners, instead of jumping right in, they're kind of looking and coming up with a game plan. Let's flip over and see what they come up with. So we've got Aaron C on the right, and Aaron C has just kind of jumped right in. He's like, I know where I'm going to yeah, start with this like thing. Yeah, it looks like Aaron's drawing the bases. Ivan yeah. waited a little longer. Yeah. You know, using his experience, using his patience, waiting a little bit longer to figure out how am I going to model this thing up? We're in the finals right now. Like, you're not, you're, you shouldn't be jumping into CAD right away. I think you're, mm. when you're in the finals. These models require you to look at them for like maybe at least a minute. Oh. Yeah. I think you need to spend that time just planning. It's de um, it's definitely understandable. I think a lot of people what they need to do is uh, look at these models and say, hey, where is that? Where is the good? Where's a good place to put the origin? Is, is am I dealing with uniform thickness? Is this going to be a, a part that I maybe shell? Um, am I going to be mirroring things? Uh, that's what you're doing in the first like minute or two of, of this competition. C you're coming up with a plan, yeah, basically. You're, you're, you got to have that plan. That makes sense. So I like I like Aaron's approach. He's just going at it. Yeah. Right off and the bat, and he's clearly setting up, you know, for for a mirrored part with that uh, center line, drawing half of it only. And yeah. I, look at Ivan. He's got he's taking a totally different approach of looking at it from the uh, I guess what you might call the front the front view of that part. And while Aaron is, yeah, he's taking this totally different approach to making the bases. I, yeah. They could, they're both good. They're yeah, both as, good. A, as a manufacturing person, you, you might think to yourself, like, how would this thing be mounted? You know, how is it going to work in the mechanism? This is a super mount, of course. And so, you know, you're going to be thinking to yourself, oh, I think I know how I'm going to place this thing. I'm going to start yeah. out with that lower boss and, and uh, extrude it. But uh, Ivan is taking a very different approach, almost a layout type mm -hmm. of an approach. Yeah. Very, mm -hmm. very interesting here. Yeah. We would, some people might call this like a, uh, a uh, nested sketch with you know, all the 
important features and all the important profiles of the part in, in one sketch. Uh, that's not necessarily the way all CAD programs work. Uh, you may be limited by your CAD software to just do small sections of the model at, you know, at, at a time. And uh, with, with SolidWorks, Ivan knows what he can do. He knows he can do a lot of this in one sketch. Yeah, and it's, I think it's also something where you, you, a lot of these prints, a lot of these models, and a lot of the models you run into in the real world, you have to sometimes understand what the customer is giving you. In this case, the customer is saying, you know, this dimension, this dimension, this dimension are important, and just kind of figure out how everything else goes together. Yeah. And uh, I think that, that uh, that's something that Ivan is looking at and, and trying to use here. But uh, I think that Aaron has done a really nice job as well, kind of recognizing that there are some key dimensions that are set up in this print, the width of that, that lower circular plate that he started out with there. It's already set up. He knows exactly what that's going to be, so that's almost going to become the anchor for the rest of his design. So, yeah. uh, Toby, what do you think the average time of uh, the uh, prior matches has been? Like, what's the average time it's taken someone to uh, clock in a, a mass? I'd say probably like around eight minutes. Yeah, I think today's yeah. going to be a little longer. I think today, <laughs> this is the finals. There's going to be more opportunity for our runners to uh, get confused, to make mistakes. Uh, I love Aaron using some direct editing here. It looks yeah. like he's going to be using some move face. That's always uh, extra points. If you want to get extra points in this tournament, just do some super chat, use yeah. some move face, some delete face, and you're going to definitely <laughs> set yourself up for success. <laughs> that super chat's yeah. pretty important, actually. Yeah, yep. Not, not to be underestimated. Difference. Oh, look at Ivan over here. He's he's a it's interesting approach. Oh. He's a, he's a, only kind of used the uniform thickness uh, to represent like all that rib, like uh, that, what I don't even what to call yeah, it. Yeah, like the center that. through the model. Oh, yeah, yeah I see wow. that. Wow. Interesting. Ivan went from just having a sketch and nothing to having a couple of features and already almost making this model look. And we got an Aaron C fan coming up to the camera. <laughs> Aaron C cheering him on, all those jelly beans. He's eating a lot of different types of jelly beans. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very oh. nice. Delete yep. face. <laughs> Delete face. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very nice. Clever. Wow. Look, so look at Aaron. He's already, he's kind of long. He's using that right base as like his, his uh, base for the rest of the part here. Um, and you see how he just did a bo window selection over the two lines to make a, a relationship quickly. Yep. Great tip. Great, great tip. tip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great way to save some time. You, you notice, I think Aaron's been using SolidWorks for a while, but one thing you, you might notice, oh. uh, he has his relationships turned on. His sketch relationships are visible. Um, I wonder if that's just to keep him honest or if he if he really uses those uh, flags to make his decisions. I mean, I always use them myself. I think it really yeah. helps to decipher a sketch. I, I notice yeah. Ivan is very much a minimalist with regards to his interface. I mean, oh, yeah, that's he doesn't right. even no have tool any bar. toolbars or anything. No tool right? Bar. No yeah. toolbars on Ivan's screen. Yeah. Using all shortcut, all shortcuts, you know, navigating through this model, uh, where uh, and not even like you said, not showing his sketch relationships. He just knows. You know, if I was a UI designer, I don't think I would even talk to Ivan. I, I think <laughs> I, I think I would just have to walk away. He's not my. He's not, he's not my market. <laughs> not my audience. <laughs> he's not my guy that uh, I'm gonna lean off of. You know, and it's it's funny though. Who's to say that these guys actually aren't using AI right now? I mean, there's no evidence that they that. We, do, how do we even know these people exist? Have you ever met? Uh, have you ever met Ivan? I know Ivan purports to be a real person, but right. have you actually seen Ivan in, in real life? Only in the video, you know. Only okay. in the video, yeah. You know, so. they can do that with AI, though. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I use some AI images in that video. You I know, know if, if I was that. AI, I would I would definitely create an <laughs> Ivan character, and uh, and you know, <laughs> it just makes sense. Yeah, I think absolutely. Okay, I like I like Ivan's approach so far. So yeah. like maybe not the most, um, you know, like. I don't want to say professional, but it's maybe not the way you would make this part if you were going to mass produce For it production. in production. You know, you're not, uh, if you're not thinking, oh, I need to change 20 things, but he's getting it done. And that's, that's the most important thing is just to get it done. When we were proof, te proof testing these models last night, I think we were taking too much of an approach of, well, what if there's a change? Uh, what, if, right. what if, uh, what if we're, we're graded on this model? Um, but that's not the approach you take in speed modeling. Right. You just got to get it done. Yeah, there's there's definitely going to be some different techniques you're going to use when you're when you're up against the clock, and certainly when there's uh, these prizes on the line. Yeah. There's some pretty big yeah. prizes on the line here. Um, very interesting to see. You know, again, the, Ivan's approach here. What he's done is he's kind of looked over this model. He's decided on a game plan. He's recognized that some of the the distances, the way that they're laid out, are a little bit tricky. The references to some of the other features are a little bit tricky. Um, and we saw that 
Aaron was able to get in and create that first boss, but I think maybe he's struggling a little to locate that second boss. Yep. Uh, but, you know, he does, he has got in there, created that layout. I mean, it looks like he's definitely on the right track. Uh, I think he's just going to need to get some of those features created. The thing is, Ivan's got all that junk in the yeah, middle of that yeah. lower boss, and Aaron doesn't have any of that. So, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I spoke yeah. a little too soon. Oh yeah, <laughs> but you saw you <laughs> okay. saw that he made quick use of the convert entities tool. Yeah. yeah. So he Ivan definitely knows that at any moment he might have to uh, pluck an edge or a face from another uh, boss that's on the part, right? And, and use it to, you know, to create a new sketch that he uses to cut with. Um, and Ricardo Jean in the chat says, "Will I see a delete face?" Oh no, not this time. We all get excited when we see delete face. That's for sure. You know what I want to see is Ivan simultaneously cat and comment at the same time. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Baller. That's, yeah, that'll prove that he's a real person. All wow, right. Okay. So, uh, well, just you know, you want to you want to look comment at this ITR. On... I love this ITR support. Who out there in the crowd is voting for Ivan? Let us hear you. <laughs> yeah. And who out there is voting for Aaron C? Woo! Yeah. We got support out here. I love the handmade signs. Yeah. This is good. This is what we needed. So you see, oh, okay, interesting. See, that's, that's the trick of like of uh, making those little tabs when they uh, when you extrude them, they might kind of create a little uh, as you call it a shard. Is that what you said? The uh, Tom Smith calls it a dingus. A dingus. A dingus. Yep. dingus. dingus. That's, that's the official term. A dingus so will get I, you. I think that uh, Ivan has a he has the confidence of knowing he can create any uh, uh, number of dingus or is a ding guy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. With with the confidence that he can always get rid of that uh, extra. Uh, Material. Chili con carne with, uh, with mm -hmm. the delete face. Yeah, I think we, we could say that Ivan the Reasonable is a dingus master. Yeah. 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 So uh, that, that could be his new name. Maybe next tournament, <laughs> instead of Ivan the Reasonable, he'll just be dingus master. <laughs> you know? DM. So uh, one thing I'm seeing on Ivan's side is uh, he's dimensioning uh, the tabs individually on that side. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to look at the, the print. Yeah, yeah sure and that's what... Uh, that's where um, Aaron used move... New yeah. Face on, yeah, and so, and so now we see Ivan's gonna maybe use a pattern. Look at that use of the S key. He's got all that information just mapped out in the S key. Looks like he's gonna be coming through here with a pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna. Let's see how brave he feels. I'm not sure if we're gonna maybe see. Let's. I don't. I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to give yeah, anything away yeah. here. I know. What I know what you're thinking. But you probably know what I'm thinking. What you guys thinking. in the audience probably know what yeah. I'm thinking as well. Let's see what he does here. Okay, running into a little problem with that oh. pattern, was able to get around it, and we do see a little Ivan exploit yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You see the he's Ivan flexing. exploit. He's given this tournament his blessing. He is the dingus master. He's able to handle it. Yeah, he's definitely flexing here, guys. Yeah. Uh, this is a flex. And he, if you if you notice, he kind of did it slowly. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted everybody to make to know. sure he saw. Yeah, wanted everybody to know. And he ran into a little problem there with that pattern, uh, and he had, he was able to, to resolve it with what's called geometry pattern. A really yep. good setting to know about if you're a SolidWorks user. Uh, get in there, do that geometry pattern. That'll definitely help you to uh, make sure that you that you uh, you have what you need. I noticed we got Aaron using real view. What do you? Uh... Oh. You a real view guy, Toby? I mean, I think it, there's, it's got its place, you know, when you're working with customers. They always like it when their parts look shiny. Yeah. yeah so I'll definitely use it in that scenario. Uh, maybe not when I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, we got a Canadian fan here. Nice. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's take the inventory we got here. It looks like Ivan's quite far along. Yep, uh, looks oh, like Ivan's we, Ivan's oh, looking at his mask. Oh, He's thinking about the maybe coming through. Okay. We're going to keep gonna, an eye out here. Commit to it? Keep an eye out here. Ivan. Ivan. Uh, uh, Taller is 0 plus or minus 0.2. Okay. Okay. And this is in kilograms. Ivan looks like he's just like me. He can't do the conversion to kilograms in his head. That's my problem as well. Okay. Look at this. About so, to pay something, it looks like. And so Ivan has come in with an answer. 21.2 kilograms. And that is not correct. That is not correct. Not Ooh. correct. Ooh. So Ivan coming in 21.2 kilograms. That is not correct. Oh. So oh. he's got to figure out where, oh. where he went wrong there. Uh, he's got to try and uh, examine that model. This is where uh, your, wall, your, your whole world falls apart. Yeah. You, you come in confidently, you paste. Yep. But you might, you might hesitantly paste because, you know, it, as we learned last night, there are a lot of little things you can do to mess this up. Yep. You got to look um, at all the magenta notes on that print. 
Uh, use those magenta notes to help guide you, guide your decision process. Uh, whenever there's anything weird going on with a print, uh, that's what I will usually drop in there. I'm not saying that's what's happening yeah. here. I'm just saying. So I kind of wonder what, what Ivan's thinking right now. I wonder what's going through his head. He's trying to obviously inspect his model. Mm -hmm. He's using the measure tool. He's cross-referencing the drawing. But you know what? You can't help to look over your competition at this point. Right. And say, what are they doing? What are they what doing? Are they what, doing? Did I, what did I miss? What's, yeah. what's I, different here about my print? And this is an easy part to get tripped up on. You know, there's, there's a lot. Of, a lot there's a lot of pressure on Ivan, actually. Yeah. I mean, last year, it was close. Yep. Real close. And this he, is, you know, this could potentially open the door for Aaron. It looks like know. he's adjusting the base. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe looks, notice the problem there. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. A little tangent. That was there. a big, that was a big jump. That yeah. sketch looked very underdefined. What happened there? Well, I, he deleted a bunch of dimensions, okay. I believe. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Like, oh, what's going on there? Oh, that's a dingus. Yeah, that's yeah, dingus. That's the yeah. dingus if I've ever seen Actually, one. Actually, uh, Tom, is that a dingus? Th thumbs up. Oh, oh, I think we might be using the term dingus. wrong. Okay, not, not a, a dingus. dingus. Not a dingus. Okay, good to know. Okay. I'm glad that we got Tom okay. here to help us out. Make sure that we understand. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, that, that was no, just original. Yeah, it was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the chat's been quite <laughs> silent the, after since that. Still got some more direct editing going on. <laughs> the, the audience is starting to turn on us. <laughs> the live audience is starting to turn on us. <laughs> okay, I'm... Ivan cut, looks like he's kind of put himself do you into think, a Do you think Aaron maybe needs to rotate those holes? <laughs> <laughs> it could, that could be it, you yeah. know? Yeah, those holes need to be rotated. Yeah. Aaron C, looks like maybe he's taking your advice, trying to rotate those a little more. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to wonder sometimes if people are flexing the Ivan exploit, you know, when they uh, almost intentionally... Flying a little too close yeah. to the sun. <laughs> Unnecessarily, yeah. Okay, so you see Ivan's trying to do a cut extrude here, up to face. Oh, okay. okay. Clean up that area, wow. I like that. Getting rid of the... Uh, yeah, this is definitely not how you want to be cleaning it up, material. but uh, wow. it looks like he's he's got some kind wow. of a solution here. Yep. Yep. Up that to was... surface, I like that. Yep. Yeah, see, but th th that's that's true adaptability mm -hmm. is that yeah. he was able to, to pre prevent himself from going back through the feature tree, editing sketches. Again, this is kind of a get it done strategy, but right. it's working. Exactly. Okay, okay he's, he's thinking... Think he, do you think we'll see a new uh, mass soon here? Well, I, I think that, you know, the pressure is on. I'm yeah. sure yeah. that, you know, I'm sure that he's... Uh, going to make sure that he's got the right answer because he can only answer one more time incorrectly. Yeah. Oh, we see Aaron C there on the right using oh. delete face, yeah. using delete face to clean up that area. That yeah. is a very nice use of delete face. I, I saw, I, like that. I was looking at that area while he was modeling it up. I'm... Uh -oh. oh, replace face. Wow. He's replace doing a, he did a surface offset at zero and now he's doing a replace face to extend that down. That was really, really clever. Yeah. Wow. Very nicely done, Aaron C. We he's like still that. got some. Like uh, that. He's still got some stuff to add, though. Kirby Downey says it's getting high pressure. Time to delete face. Aaron C coming closer. You got this, Ivan. Occam's razor. Woot! Grow that tree, ITR. <laughs> Let's go, Ivan. It's the Muffin Man. Go over it again, <laughs> Ivan. Delete face. Slick. Don't forget to register for a giveaway. Go to twotaltoby.com/prizes and replace face. Imants really like that one. Replace face was an uh, excellent, excellent choice there from Aaron C. I think that's gonna be that might be the highlight of the of the match. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is tense because I know how, what Ivan's feeling right now. He's, right. He's confident that he's done it right, but he's thinking what what's what's wrong. Right. What's wrong? Right. <laughs> okay. We got. Looks like Ivan's okay. looking at his mass properties. We might see another answer okay. coming here. Twenty point eight seven kilograms. Twenty point nine is the correct oh. answer, and that's gonna give that win to Ivan. Good job, Ivan! Wow, Ivan, well fought. What a match! What a match! Wow, wow, wow! That was intense. Very nicely fought from Aaron C as well. Good game, oh, good yeah, game. Yeah, All the GGs are rolling in here. Good. Nice job, Ivan. Yeah, You'll notice uh, that, that Ivan's crazy. first answer was 20, what was it, 20 point? It was like 21.20. Yeah. So he was one click off from tolerance. Yeah. If that was 21.1 as that first answer, 21.1, he would have been within tolerance. But 21.2, he ended up just slightly out of tolerance there. I like crazy, crazy, crazy. So close. I like that he didn't relocate that tab after he was wrong. Yeah, he just still he kept knew. his Ivan exploit in place. He's so. like, I'm leaving this one alone. This is my thing.
Wow, very nicely yeah. done to both of our runners. Congratulations. That's going to give Ivan one point, but it's not over yet. You got to win two points if you want to move into the finals.